tucked away on the outskirts of Washington, D.C. An anonymous building is home to a small team of solar weather watchers. We can be hit by the next solar storm anytime soon because they happen fairly frequently. Yari Collado Vega is a director at NASA's Space Weather Analysis Office. Good morning, everybody. Is there any activity today? Everything looks quiet so far today. Her team's job is to keep satellites and astronauts safe from the ever-present threat of space weather. Space weather is the activity in space that is mostly dominated by the sun. We have the solar wind, which is the expansion of the solar corona, and it's always there. The solar wind is a stream of electrically charged particles that flood from the sun and continually bathe the Earth. We see its effect through the glowing gas it creates at the top of our atmosphere, the aurora. This solar wind is a constant presence, but sometimes activity on the sun's surface increases dramatically. The sun can also have big, strong solar storms that come in different types. We have the solar flare, which are big, bright eruptions of radiation. And we also have coronal mass ejection, which are big explosions of particles that travel through space. Coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, are enormous bubbles of electrically charged particles that explode from the sun's surface at millions of miles per hour. And not only can they destroy infrastructure here on Earth, they can fry the electronic circuits of satellites in a flash, and are even a potential threat to human life. coronal mass ejections can actually cause damages to the instrumentation of the satellites that we have in space, which is the satellites that we use for technology every day on Earth. You know, communication problems, GPS signal loss, and in the scenario of astronauts, it could cause a radiation hazardous environment for them. We send astronauts to the moon, and then in the future years to Mars, they're not gonna be protected. We have to make sure that we send those astronauts to space safely. So we need to make sure that we can predict those events. Yari and her team keep a constant eye out for solar superstorms. And when they spot them, assess their severity. Our job is to do the predictions. When you have a coronal mass ejection, and when we do that, we actually can see how the CME explodes and how it actually travels through space. And then we inject the CME into a simulation, which is what we have here. You can see here the sun, the Earth, and you can see the planets and the missions across the solar system. And this is like looking at the sun from the top. And you can see here a very small CME being ejected. And we use the images here so we can actually predict where they're going and when they're going to hit. 